Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the composite design pattern. Composite design pattern is a part of a structural design pattern which will help us to create a structure of the application itself. So let's understand where composite design pattern will be helpful and how we can implement it. So let's take a simple example here. Let's take the example of a ordering system where what you can do is you can order some system and when any order is there what you have to do is you package those orders into different boxes and packages and everything and you ship it. Okay, so suppose if you have item one available, and this item one can be packaged in a box. Okay, maybe small box, and we have the item two available. Okay, this item two can be packaged in a medium size box. Medium size box, and suppose you have item three, which can be box in a large box. Okay, packaged in a large box. Now, when you're packaging, what is happening is when you are adding item three into a large box, there is a space available where you can fit a small box itself okay so what you do is you have a large item large box available and within this large box you add a within this large box you add the item 3 as well and you add the small box as well so you can see that you are adding a box inside a box and within the box you may have a item as well okay so within the box you can add the item or within the box you can add the box which also has the item in it right so you can see that there is a hierarchy creating over here right you can add a box inside a box inside an item as well or directly inside a box you can add the item okay so here you can see that it is a composite relationship your box can contain item as well or your box can contain box as well smaller box as well which itself can contain item Okay, so when you have this kind of relationship at the time we can implement the composite design pattern. So there are three components within the composite design pattern that is component itself that is a base component leaf and a composite itself. Okay, so base component is the actual base component which you can refer to which you can refer as an object. So here you can see that here we have a base component as the box here right. So here within the box and item we can represent this as a base component but leaf would be the end component so my item would be my leaf component so after the item I cannot add anything if there is a box I can go inside and I can check okay within the box there is item but within the item there wouldn't be any box okay so that would be my leaf item the other thing is the composite item so what composite will be doing is composite will have the behaviors to add a base component and a leaf component to have the operation to add a component or to delete a component within the composite itself. So it may have a method to add a item inside a box or add a box inside a box or remove as well. So this is something will be used by a client to do all the operations within the entire composite design pattern. Okay. So this is the basic example that I've explained to you like when we can implement the composite design pattern and what are the basic components to implement in a composite design pattern. Similarly, let's take one more example of a department. So here what I can uh, have is I can have a department here and within this department, I can have multiple departments. I can have a financial department, right? I can have a sales department. I can have IT department, HR department and so on and for all these departments I can have a head department as well right. So within this head department multiple departments can come in okay. So within this head department suppose there is a financial department, there is a sales department or a HR department okay anything. So here you can see that within the department there is a head department and within that head department there are different departments as well. So here you can see there is a complete hierarchy forming and com complete composite relationship is forming. So here as well we can implement the composite design pattern. So let's see with the code example here. So here you can see that this is the example that we are working with. Here you can see that for our base component we have created the interface. For your base component it should always be an interface or an abstract class so that the behavior can be implemented by the concrete classes. Okay. So that's the first thing that we have to implement and I have also added the theoretical part as well like what composite pattern is and what are the different components and I have also added the references as well from where I have taken this example. So you can refer to them as well. So here you can see that I have taken the example from the Yugen's website and it was a very simple example. Here we have created the interface that is a department interface which is our base component and it has a method that is the print department name. So your base component is ready. Okay. Now let's create a leaf component. So your financial department, okay, financial department, you can see we created as a leaf component where it will be the end of the department, okay. So here you can see I have created a concrete class that is a financial department which implements department as a base interface and I have created couple of properties here that is the ID of the department and the name of the department which will have the constructor to populate the details 
and you can see we are implementing the print department name behavior that is a method available in the department interface which in case it is just printing the name simple okay we have the sales department as well for the sales department we have still implemented the department base class base interface sorry and we have the same couple of properties that is the id and name which will have the constructor to populate all the details and we have implemented the print department method which will print the name of the class so you can see that we have two classes that is the financial department and sales department which are implementing department interface so your two classes are created now let's see the composite part you can see that i have created the head department here okay so this head department is also implementing the department that is the base interface for us okay that is a base component for us but you can see that we have the properties same as what we have for the leaf components okay that is the id and name but alongside that you can see that we have the list of department as well that is a child department here and to handle this child department we have the method that is the add department and re remove department to add or delete the list here okay add or delete the item from the list that's what we talked about here right we will have the methods to add or remove the items from the composite okay so we have those items here and we have implemented the print department name method here and what we are doing is we are going through all the departments here and we are printing the name we are calling the th those departments methods okay so that's what we are doing here it is a simple thing okay and for the add department we are just adding the department what it is passed and for removing we are also removing the same department which is passed from the list simple methods add or delete from the list this is the constructor what it is doing is constructor it is taking the integer and name and it is ass assigning the values and it is creating the new list over here okay simple now how we will call it so if i go to the composite application here okay you can see that within the main method i have created two departments that is a sales department and a financial department department sales department equals to new sales department and i have passed id and name here similarly i have passed for the financial department as well so you can see that my two department is created then i created the head department so within the head department i pass the head department now with the help of two add methods that we have added in the composite class that is this head department class i have added this to sales and finance department okay this two object i have passed here so those two will be added in our list and with the head department print department name method we will be able to call this so if i run this you will be able to see that we are getting the financial department and sales department printed so you can see that sales department and finance department is has been printed here so you can see that we are giving the access to the composite here and with that composite client will be able to use this composite design pattern it will be able to add the base classes as well and the leaf classes as well whatever is required in our application so whenever you have this type of problem where you will be able to add the child as well and those child can be your base as well and a leaf node as well at the time we can implement this composite design pattern and it's a part of structural design pattern so you can see that it's really easy to implement you might have implemented multiple places as well but you might have not know that this is called a composite design pattern so that was all about the composite design pattern in this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button to support me and i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye